very good morning everyone uh, today we are going to highlight the characters of our boys to Lilliput in the river travels without knowing the characters and their relationship we cannot understand the text as well okay so there are how many boys how many boys in the chapter four, four. four. can anyone repeat first one a boy to Lilliput second one Dropping down. Third one, boys to Laputa. Third, fourth one, boys to Yahu. Koinam or Yahu. Okay. So the images you have see already we have shown. And the second one, this is another picture. When Gardiver he himself understands that he, he is not free now. That's why he tries to what's happened there. Whenever he notices, he says the human beings are not like him. Though they are physically they are like him, but their size is very teeny one. In that time, we don't know whether they are six feet or six inches or something else. Okay? They, he just understood that they are very teeny one. And very first word, the protagonist of the text is Lemuel Gardiver. His name is full name is Lemuel Gardiver. He is a traveler, a native of Nottinghamshire. It means he was born in Nottinghamshire in England. <coughs> Gardiver is a trained surgeon. Remember, whenever he was a child, his father became dead and he became helpless. As a result, number of problems happens there. His mother was unable to send him in a school. And she decided that not to her, not to send him anywhere else. By this time his uncle comes and sends him in a school. But he could not continue it. Later on, he decides that he will try to study medical science. This may be diploma. He was admitted and started it, starting there. More interestingly, without finishing his study, he intends to go to a sea boys because from the early childhood he thinks that it should be his aim. So he intends it and his master or his teacher or his trainer gives him some basic knowledge how to cook up with the sea and how to train up the people as and one day one day he gets a chance and he makes his journey. By this time he gets married as well and he has a family. Already we have known that in Gardiver Travels he has made four voyages and four travels and four travels or four journeys he made in four different areas, four different countries. As a result he has gathered or experienced different knowledge because the culture, the tradition, the language, the behavior and some other thing as well are completely different from each other. Okay? So this is about the garden bird. This is Mrs. Berry Burden. Mrs. Berry Burden is garden bird's wife. She is called also Burden Garden Bird. He only states her name at the beginning of the novel and thereafter refers to her as his wife. She is mentioned only during his rare time in England. Only once you can get her name. Why? You don't know. Why he hasn't mentioned her name again and again though she has a family, she has two children, everything is okay. But her name is mentioned only one time. Okay. And why? 
only you in an incidents yeah incidents whatever galiver comes it from the first journey and she uh, he is very much exhausted she is very much exhausted in that time she gets married and by this time they have children so you know that whenever wife knows that the sea voice is really risky and so much adventurous so no wife will allow her husband to go for the next time because she knows that she may lose her husband but guardian doesn't listen to her rather rather he goes to again and again to the sea so what is her name mrs mary Captain. Captain William Richard. Captain uh, Richard is the head of the ship named Angelo. Angelo is a sea in which he makes his many journey to Lilliput. Okay, remember that. Antelopes. intention or aim is not to or goal is not to go to lilliput their intention is to go somewhere else unfortunately or because of the shipwreck galiver he himself goes to the land of lilliput and he don't he doesn't know what about the fate of the other crew so most of the critics think uh, that or the galiver is survival one and the other companions of galiver are the uh, passenger of antelo may have died okay he controls galiver's first voyage in which a storm overtakes the ship leaving galiver stranded on the strange land of lilliput so these are another pictures of the bushings the cultural things are uh, shown here little bushings already you have been introduced to what the little bushings the inhabitants the people of little bush are called little bushings yeah. and on average they are 6 inch high okay the little bushings are the Indians call uh, people from the land of Lilliput. They initiate. Uh, they initial fear Galiver, for his size is so overpowering. However, with the help of the empower, emperor and the few others, Galiver befriends these people by helping them at war with their enemy, Lafis. Who are the enemies of Lilliput? Lafis. Lafis is a neighboring country. of lilliput and it is divided by a channel okay so if you can understand the what is a channel you can understand what is actually he indicates by lilliput and lafis because there is a major channel or the great channel in the world which makes divide it divides the country to countries there are uh, european countries as well however after using uh, so many of their resources and performing a lot acts in public he is forced to flee the country for blavisco and even so the home to england so sometimes you will be confused whenever you go to the text because Galiver is introduced as a man of English, but he himself says that Lavisco and Lilliput are the neighboring countries, and they are some divided by a channel. From the history, we know that. From the geographical history, we know that England and France are divided by English Channel. now is a great question as uh, the text tells us that 
once Gardiner travels to Lilliput and he comes back Lilliput to England. Actually, what is England? What is Lilliput? It's very confusing to us. Okay? And remember that. Obviously, whenever a six inch a nation of six inches high, whenever they see a giant man who is six feet high, they must must fear of that man. And they must attempt to kill that one. Otherwise, they think that they are not safe as well. More interestingly, with the help of their parents, he becomes their friend later on. Not only that, he saves Lilliput from the attack of neighboring country, Lassus. More interestingly, because of some acquisition, later on he is driven away from Lilliput and uh, Gulliver is bound to escape their country and he gets a shelter in Lafiskin. Once upon he destroys the Lafiskin soldier ships as well, but he later on he gets a shelter in Lafiskin. So what does it indicate? What does it mean? You can think yourself. The Emperor of Lilliput, although the emperor, uh, emperor initially helps Gardiver by ordering clothing, food, lodging for him, lodging means a house. Okay. He eventually turns against Gardiver. He orders an edict uh, 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 with several laws pertaining to Gardiver, grants him his freedom. Is trailed. When Gardiver helps Lilliput defeat Lapisco, but is outraged when Gardiver will not use the Lapisco as, as slaves. So obviously, he is a friend of Lilliputians and he is close to king and queen or emperor of Lilliput. He helps them a lot from different perspectives and he destroys 50 ships number of soldiers of Lafisco. So whenever the Emperor understands that we can easily conquer the other land. Conquer the other land. Other land means here Lafisco with the help of Gardiver. Then he requests go. Oh, the Emperor requests Gardiver to conquer that land. But Gardiver rejects to conquer the land. As a result, the emperor becomes his enemy. And the emperor thinks that he is a betrayal of our country. He may be the spy of Lafisco. As a result, he doesn't intend to conquer the land in behalf of us. So, hidden away, the emperor and his court takes a decision to kill him. Red Russell, it is important character, another important character, major character in the text. Red Russell is a principal secretary of private affairs and eventually becomes a close friend to Gardiver. Remember that Gardiver may be killed in Lilliput without the help of Red Russell. When the court takes a decision how to punish Gardiver, that night, this man comes to Gardiver and requests him to leave the country. So, this is a white Now, question to you. As Red Russell is a principal secretary of private affairs of <coughs> Lilliput, Lilliputian parliament, government, or the emperor, why he has helped Gardiver? without implementing the decision of the king or the emperor of Lilliput. What should be the reason? Can anyone guess? From our general sense we can think that he must help. He must help the emperor of Lilliput. Rather he helps Gardiver. Why? Prevent the war against 
Anything else? Just think that is there any uh, benefit? Uh, he is seeking any benefit from the parliament or whatever something else? Or is there any conspiracy theory he has applied? Obviously, Gardliver not only helps Red Russell, he helps each and everyone in Lilip once you have seen. The question, whenever the country decides that and uh, proves Gardliver is now their betrayal, is a betrayal one, and he may be the spy of Blavisco. In that time, why he takes a risk to help Gardliver? Think it yourself, okay? Think more and more. I think you can get the answer. It's a very easy answer. He warns him about the Imperial Eric and speaks of, uh, for him during council meeting. Already I mentioned. Blavisco ants. Uh, Blavisco is a neighboring country, you know that. And Blavisco ants are the enemies of the Lilliputians and inhabitants of the, 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 the neighboring land. They welcome Garlibur openly after must flee Lilliput and are thankful to him for showing mercy. So remember, it's very interesting. It's very interesting because once Gulliver destroys 50 sheep of Blavisco and because of Gulliver, the Blaviscoonians may not have owned the war. They were defeated. And they have lost a number of their sheep and the other people as well. But why they welcome him at the end of the situation, or why uh, they have, even they have helped him so that he can come back to his own land to his wife or children? Why they have helped him? Why they have welcomed him? Very mysterious to us. Can anyone guess why? Please think it. What can be? Anyone? What is upon you know that because of Gulliver, the soldiers have lost a lot of things of Lapuscan soldiers. Later on, they have given him his, his shelter. Even they have helped him to go back to his own country, own land. Why? Sorry? For fairness. So if there is any fairness, they may have also make a plan like the little Bushians. They will try to kill him or arrest him. But without arresting, without killing, without sending him in the prison or jail, they welcome him even, uh, they accept him as their royal guest. That is one of the important things. Because when Gulliver arrives there, and the news must go where? To Lilliput. And Lilliputians may may try change. If we attack now, Blavisco will be destroyed because we know the power of Gardiver. This is one of the reasons. At the same time, here, the mentality, good mentality of Blavisco yes, is shown. Okay? Welcoming or a humankind is shown here. So there are some other characters uh, play now. Lord High Treasurer of Lilliput. Remember, the, all the treasures all over the world are the same. They are always thinking how to save the money. And they try to be close with the head of the government. I mean the emperor of the, I mean the emperor to the Lilliput. Okay? He, is, he plays a vital role here. Even, uh, uh, we have mentioned that once in a there is an acquisition against or the file against Gulliver that he makes, he falls in love with someone else. 
Actually, the lady was a wife of Brenda. He says that Garlipper and my wife may have their affairs. Okay? So he plays vital role in the text. Next one, uh, Red Russell, already uh, uh, we mentioned Sky uh, Skyrish. Bolgolam Skyrish. His full name is Bolgolam Skyrish. He is another major high officials on Egyptian court, okay? And counselors, he frequently suggests the king and queen. Remember that. He is very close to Flimna. And there is a division. We will say that. Division and the contradiction of between uh, Flimna and Skyrat versus Red Dressel. Red Dressel is against Flimna. And interestingly, Flimna and Skyrat, Bolgolam, Bolgolam, Skyrat, uh, Skyrat, Bolgolam, they get the support of Queen. Get the support of Queen. So automatically, Red Dressel gets the support of King. So there is a division you would say. Another, can anyone pronounce the first two words? What are the? Salamat, Sun and Tramaksa. These are the political parties of Lilliput. They have the political parties. Like us. Okay? Lilliputian's political parties, the first represent the low hill. At the very first class I have told that how to you can how to recognize the parties activist it's very simple in Lilliput. <coughs> One party's activist, other politicians were low hills all the time and the other group always high hills. High hills. So you can easily understand that these are the low hills and these are the Hires. These are the Slamaxan and these are the Tramaxan. The Tramaxans are in power now. Are in power now. And who are the opponents? The Tramaxans. Okay, who are the high hills. And more interestingly, they are involved with the religious as well. Some support the Roman Catholic and some support the Protestant as well. The Slamaxan support the Protestant and where is Tramaxan support the Roman Catholic as well? Okay. Research of um, Simpson, Gardiner's fictional cousin who him, prevailed upon Gardiner to publish the travels. At the very beginning, in introduction, we will say that Gardiner he himself reveals that after making the voices, his cousin Simpson suggests him to publish his experience. As I have already mentioned that in 18th century, number of travel novel you will see that it is one of them. That's why he is not a major character who the research censor. He is a minor character just once you will get his name here that he gives him the privileges to publish his book. And the name already we have mentioned uh, the activities of emperor we have mentioned but we uh, forgot in that time the mention the name of the emperor of Lilliput. His name can anyone tell that this is the name of the Lilliputian emperor. Okay. Golvest, Momarin, Iblam, Gardilo, Shepin, Muli, Muligo. This is the name of the emperor of Lilliput. Okay. Uh, Imperial frequently will mention that uh, Imperial Black Lilliput, but we will not try to mention the whole name, okay? Muli Muligo. And the another uh, character that is Nardic. The title of novel team conferred on Gardiver by Imperial of Lilliput. So this is the highest award of Lilliput. In our country, you see that. Which is the highest awarded? Which and every word the government announced. Then Ekushe Bodu. Then Bangla Academy Bodu. Then number of awards we have seen that. Similarly, Nardek is the highest award. 
of Lilliput. And when Gulliver was a launch of, in behalf of him, in favor of Lilliput, and he saved the country from the attack of Lafisco. In that time, he was awarded. More interestingly, have you noticed that the man who once received the highest award from Lilliput, later he becomes the enemy of that country. It's a irony of fate of a man. And it happens frequently anywhere else. There are some other minor characters. John Bader, the master of the vessel that picks up Gallivers after the after he leaves Lilliput. Whenever he intends, he makes a small ship with the help of Lapisco people and he himself roaring in the middle of the ocean whenever he <coughs> reaches there and he gives a signal. In that time, John Beadle, the captain, says and he can understand that the man may be a may be a English. So he comes very close to the boat of Gardiver and rescues him and takes him to his own land. Middle and to the metropolis of Lilliput. Like Dhaka city, you can say that. It is a metropolitan. And more interestingly, their metropolitan is well decorated. Well decorated. And it is there is a plan. It's a square size. And not only square size, but also it has been divided into the four groups. Four sections. And in the middle of the sections, there is a spacious what, avenue or the roads so that the people can go and travel from one place to another place as well. And you cannot build a, build a building without the permission, without a good plan of the government. So it's a very neat and clean city, metropolitan. Next one, Lapis uh, Chorus, already we mentioned that this, uh, sorry, uh, Bel, uh, Bel, 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 Bel the royal place of Lilliput, or the palace. Uh, the Prime Minister of Bangladesh lives in Ghanabobo, and the President lives in Bangabobo. Similarly, the Emperor of Lilliput lives where? Bel, Okay, he lives in the palace. So, this is the very first one, shipwrecked before the, just before the shipwrecked scenery, we will see that. And just after the, whenever he wakes up in Lilliput, seizure of the Lilliput, he sees his condition. And you have seen that this is very remarkable. Have you noticed it? Which one? This is with you. This is a this is a stage. So the men, how uh, teeny they are, they build up a stage and they ride it with the help of a ladder. Okay? How many people are there? Four or five. Five, five people. Six. Who are they? Five or six. Who are they? Six. Who are they? They are the high officials of Lilliput, including the emperor he himself. And more interesting, the Lilliputian are six inches high on average, but their king is half inch more than common people. <laughs> why? Can anyone explain it? Why he is more than half inch high? Hmm? No, he is a, a Activist of Low Hill. Oh, yeah. Why he is high? In generally, he is, his physical condition is he is uh, uh, inch more than the average people. What can be it? One example we can say that whenever you arrange a party, you see, you see, the chair of the chief guest is different than the other people. Why? To honor him to make him distinguish from the other people so that everyone can see at a class. Uh, 
as for the first side, he may be the different one as well. Similarly, to show the power, to make him different, the automatically their God creates him, creates the pair half inch more high than the is six inch, uh, sorry, half inch higher than the common people ever is. Okay. Anyway, they are observing. They are observing home. You see that they are observing the adverse condition. And this is you can understand. Whenever he was he is arrested and he is taken to the near to the metropolitan city, in that time his boat, his shoes were taken off. And the Lilliputians are trying to see what is this. Have you seen that? They, their size is smaller than the than his boat as well. And how many people can enter his boat? And that is a question. Even you will see that one of uh, one someone he takes five Lilliputians in his pocket. Okay? Yeah. So This is the capital city. Whenever he visits uh, the metropolitan city, I have already mentioned that uh, the city is well decorated. And you see, the city is really decorated, very furnished, neat and clean. More interestingly, the highest house, the palace, is lower than his size. Okay, the size of the houses you can uh, easily guess that. So, whenever he reaches to the metropolitan city, number of people are so much curious to see him. In that time, you see the little Christians are standing in front of him, and the palaces are, or the palaces are besides him, but the palaces are smaller than his size. So, this is another picture when Gulliver is requested to. Fight in behalf of Lilliput against Blavisco. In that time, from the seashore, he is observing about the soldiers and their weapons and their ships. Okay, you see that this is their land and this is the Blavuskan and these are the ships of Blavuskan and he is observing. So, whenever the soldiers of Blavisco see him, what about their mental condition? Can you imagine? So, this is another important thing. He is, uses a technique. He makes 50 hooks. 50 hooks. Without killing, without attacking anyone else. He just crosses the channel. This is a, this is a Lilliputian seashore. And these ships, these are the ships. Have you seen that? Yeah. And he, what? Throws the hooks. And what? Enchant them and he pulls all the 50 ships. And whenever the soldiers of Blavisco see that without attacking, their ships are moving and moving, all of them become frightened and they become senseless. And someone tries to jump or dive into the water, and as a result, you know. Without bloodshed, the Lilliputians become winner victorious. So this is that scene actually, continuation. So these are the character of the boys to Lilliput. Do you have any question? Anyone?